Oh, there's a fish. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. He came up and hammered it. There's a good fish right in the center of it. Heck yeah, jump for us, buddy. Oh, he's under the boat. He's down there under the boat. Come on, dude. You got to come up here to me. You got to come up here to me, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Right in the middle of that cover. Look at him digging. What is up guys, thanks for tuning in today. How about we do a proper intro in this video? Oh look, this little baby deer. Little bitty baby deer, I don't know if you guys can see it. That, that deer right there was probably like a day old. So anyways, like I was saying, let's do a proper intro for this video. Headed down to the water right now. Got Beetlejuice in tow back there. And uh, we're gonna go try to catch some fish. Uh, here's some more deer. The deer. Yeah, so uh, it's been storming here all morning, but I just got a text message from Tyler said the lake is hot right now It's gonna be nobody out here. So uh, the storms have passed and I'm hooked up headed out on the water gonna try to catch some fish So let's get right to it, man. You guys know what time it is headed down to the park right now launch Beetlejuice And I'll see you guys out there on the water. It's hopefully gonna be a good day of fishing Right, just pulling up to the boat ramp now and as you guys can see it is a nice calm sunny one out here right now so about to get out on the water and get the boat launched let's get right to it man let's get this boat in the water All right, dudes, I just jacked one second cast on the crankbait, as you saw there on the uh, the second GoPro. Let's see if we can get us another one. They're up here on this point doing work, so let's see if we can pick off another one. He hit it when I was reeling it slow, too. Third crankbait fish ever. I'm still learning how to catch them on these things, man. I don't really know the technique. I don't know the, the oh, look at him over there chasing. It's been storming all morning, like I said in the intro. Yeah, my buddy Tyler said the fish are hitting today. As soon as the rain passed, I decided, dude, it's time to get out there. And sure enough, man, second cast with a crankbait, caught us a nice one. Let's go. Fishing a little Rapala DT6. One fish so far off this point on the crankbait. Feels good to get the skunk out of the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the main motor and go hit some spots. Let's go hit some spots, man. Let's go. We haven't even made it. There's the boat ramp. We haven't even made it anywhere. We just started catching fish. You know how it is. Let's go. Good times. There we go. Can't 
came out from under that dock and smashed on it. That's a nice fish. Look at that. That's a nice fish right there. Not bad. Let's let him go. Later, buddy. Let's keep moving. We got one on the fluke, one on the crankbait, several bites. Let's keep moving. I think these fish are hanging out under these docks. Number three, right under the dock, like I said, man. They're down there and they're munching. And that is another Guadalupe bass, a little fat one, dude. He has been eating, look at that dude. Look at this Guadalupe, man. He is fat and happy. Been catching a lot of these little guys lately. Still fun, let's go. All right, guys, quick update. I'm currently just idling along, thinking about what my next move is gonna be. Three fish in the boat so far today. Not a bad morning, couple nice ones. One little Guadalupe. I ain't mad at it, haven't been out here too long. Sun is high in the sky now, it's starting to get a little hot, so I think these fish are pushing up into the shade or back out into deeper water. Bite has slowed down just a little bit, I haven't seen any action in a while. So I'm just cruising along here, trying to figure out uh, what the next spot that I'm gonna hit is going to be. Nevertheless, it has been an awesome day out here on the water already. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please go down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all the new people here. If this is your first video, hello, my name is Justin. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys are curious about anything that I use in my videos, as always, you can check the video description for product links and things that you see in the videos that I personally use myself every single time I come out here on the water. Um, I'm not sponsored, I'm just sharing the links with you guys, and if you use those links to purchase any of the items that you see on the channel, a small percentage of that purchase will go back to the channel to help grow the channel, to help run the channel, etc. Amazon affiliate links, you guys know how it works. But that's what's up, man. Other than that, we're out here on Beetlejuice, getting it done. One fish on the crankbait, two fish on the fluke so far. And I think I'm gonna go try to find some cover to fish, some sticks or some trees or something. Because I think the fish have moved uh, out of the shallow water and off into the deeper stuff. But I will catch up with you guys on the GoPro at the next fishing spot. It's the perfect chance to wear my fancy new gloves. All right, guys, I just rolled up to a, a set of docks that uh, been known in the past to hold some big girls. I caught some big fish over here in this area, so I'm trying to hit them again. Let's go. All kinds of abrasions going on over here. Let's get that fixed up real quick. And before we do anything else, before we go any further, boy, I don't want to lose my spot in line. Let's throw the anchor out. Done. I always make sure I take all my trash with me when I leave the lake. I try to leave the lake in as good or better shape than when I found it. And you guys should do the same. If you're watching this video, thinking about getting out there and doing some fishing, please don't throw your trash in the water, guys. Pick up after yourself. Take care of the earth. I'm sending that message here on this channel. I tie an improved clinch knot for uh, just about every bait. Or I'd say just about. I tie an improved clinch knot for every bait that I'm tying on. In case you guys are wondering what knot I use, improved clinch knot, man. That's the one I've always used. That's the one that's worked for me. That's the one that never lets me down. Tried and true. Good old improved clinch knot. All right, now if I can keep from hooking myself, we can go out there and catch some fish. It's one thing about having the polyester clothes, man. It protects you from the sun, but the hooks, they stick to it. Crankbait time around the docks. See if we can find a fat girl, yeah. I don't know why I just sung that like a 50s show tune, but there you go, guys. Man, this old Luz Laser MG Speed Spool right here, this is the first nice, I'll say nice, this is the first nice bait caster that I went and bought myself last summer when I first started bass fishing again and I say bought myself I should go ahead and correct myself again my beautiful wife got me this as a gift so that I could start fishing again a little backstory for you guys that may not know for you guys that may be watching the channel for the first time I used to do motorcycle videos oh there's a little something something right there used to do motorcycle videos and uh crashed broke my arm had to have surgery to repair my left arm put it back together like robocop i got metal in my arm surgical stainless i'll be setting off metal detectors with that stuff boy but yeah um so anyways broke my arm couldn't ride and 
uh, while I was rehabbing my arm and getting it back to where, like, getting it back to where I had strength in my left arm again, I decided to go down and go fishing. And one thing that I noticed really quick was that the hook sets were helping rehab my arm, and my arm was getting stronger uh, through fishing. You know, it was it was helping me. It was helping me heal through fishing. I could still get back out there in the outdoors. And even though I couldn't ride a motorcycle like I used to, I could still uh, get out and, and fish. And during that process, I fell in love with this stuff again, guys. I've been fishing my whole life, but never as hard as I fish now. I fish every day that I can now. So um, there's a little backstory, man. I broke my arm and have always loved fishing, but once I broke my arm, started rehabbing it, um, came out here, started fishing fell back in love with the bass game and here we are full-blown full-time fishing videos trying to catch crankbait fish let's go if you guys are curious seeing uh the kind of videos that i used to make they're all still on the channel you can go back and watch all my old moto vlogs and see what i used to do for video making before i started fishing and recording my adventures i had uh it's getting shallow boy so i was uh sort of in a transition period with my channel having the broken arm couldn't really make full-blown bike videos and got like down and out and stuff and then went back to making bike videos and it just wasn't the same i couldn't ride the same i had lost the edge and uh man i was posting a lot to my instagram about fishing you know my instagram story became pretty much just solid fishing it was the fishing instagram and i was having a whole lot of fun doing that man and i was realizing that i was having more fun posting fishing to my instagram story than i was making motorcycle videos if that makes sense so i just do what makes me happy man and it was at that at that point that I realized that a change needed to happen and that I was going to have to do something different than what I was doing in order for me to be happy. And here we are, man. I'm happy. We're out here bass fishing on Beetlejuice, making fishing videos, and I am loving every minute of it. My channel is growing faster than it ever has in the past. I have more interaction now on this channel than I ever have in the past. The fishing community has been amazing to me. Shout outs to all you awesome people that interact on my videos and comment. Send me messages on Instagram. I see you. I appreciate you. Much love, man. All right. I've been rattling off a bunch of random history and topic conversation for long enough. I'm going to get back to focusing on fishing and hopefully see you guys back on the end of the line with a fish because that's what we need let's go it's been rough out here for a couple hours guys keeping it real with you i know a lot of times i don't show a lot of the footage in between the catches and that's because there's not much entertaining to show just like a hundred casts you know so uh if you guys are wondering you know do i catch you know 10 fish in a row just like in 12 minutes <laughs> no the answer is no, and most people don't. Keep that in mind, guys, if you're out there and you're getting discouraged, maybe, or you're not catching a lot of fish, you're wondering why. Most people don't. There we go. Nice. He smashed it, dude. I hope that got on camera, because that was awesome. He smashed it with the fury. nicest fish of the day fighting hard smashed it hard came up and annihilated it i hope the copro got that hit because that was awesome chill out bro i'll get you unhooked awesome look at that dude yeah he hit it so hard <laughs> he hit it so hard guys look at that fish man boom that's a nice one that's a nice one That's what I'm talking about right there, man. How about that for a fish, man? Best one of the day. Came up and absolutely annihilated the flute, guys. Smagoosh. Let's let him go. What's that goofy Mike Iconelli dude say? Never give up. I'm glad I didn't give up today, man. That's a good fish. That was dope. That was the best fish of the day, and it was by far the most furious hit of the day. He unleashed the fury up here in cover, super shallow, on the Zoom Salty Super Fluke, man. Getting it done for me again today. Four is more. Let's get back after it. That was awesome. Guys, that was 
awesome. I've been waiting for that. That explosion, man. That, that fury. Unleash the fury. Let's go. Fish number five, it's another little Guadalupe bass. Good stuff, man. Starting to bite, seems like a couple, two, three hours there with nothing, and now, bam, caught a nice little large mouth and then a nice little Guadalupe. Let's let him go. Right here in the clear. Better, buddy. guys as soon as I take the chest mount off of course smack two fish back to back on the fluke there's a look at that guy I got the windshield camera running for you guys so you're gonna be able to see the catches no matter what I'm getting a little hot so I just uh, took the chest strap off for a little bit it's a healthy little fish right there let's let him go And just like that, guys, as soon as I took the chest rig off, just started smacking them in. They're stacked up over these trees. Let's get back after it, man, see if we can get another one. Well, guys, I'm not sure what number of fish that is, but he made my day. Over here in these trees, man. Everybody shallow in trees today. Good stuff. Oh, there's a fish. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. He came up and hammered it. There's a good fish right in the center of it. Heck yeah, jump for us, buddy. Oh, he's under the boat down there under the boat come on dude you got to come up here to me you got to come up here to me dude heck yeah dude right in the middle of that cover look at him digging come on buddy you ain't getting away you're mine oh he came off i let him play too much and he came off right there at the boat that was a nice fish man damn oh well we got a good look at him he was right in the middle of that tree too Oh, that's a little upsetting there. I, wanted, I didn't want to boat flip him, man. Because I could tell he was barely hooked. Sure enough, I let him play too much and he got away. <sighs> Next time. There we go. On the jig. right here on the drop off on a finesse jig with a bandito bug and I'm not gonna let this fish go we're gonna boat flip this one he's a nice fish look at him they're smacking over here behind me might have run up on a school Boom. take a look at that fish right there man I pulled up right here that's the first cast with the finesse jig with the bandito bug right there man that's what it hammered let's go 
All right, guys, official video outro going down right here on our way back to the boat ramp. Had a great day out here fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you go down below, smash that thumbs up button, and subscribe so that you catch all my future adventures out here on the water on my boat. Beetlejuice, the 2010 Skeeter ZX190. But that's going to do it for this one, man. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to yet another one of my fishing adventures. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.